Now that we've run our pre-processing and generated our FA, or fractional anisotropy maps, we're ready to do another acronym, which is called TBSS, or Tract Based Spatial Statistics. Now, in this case, every command that we're going to use after we have these FA images is going to be prefixed with TBSS. So, for example, TBSS underscore one underscore preproc. And these things are all labeled pretty well in the FSL binaries directory. So, let's take a look at what we're going to do. First of all, just to give you an overview, after we have all of our fractional anisotropy maps, we put them all in a single directory. And just for the record, I'm using the pre-cooked data, all the, the stuff online on the FSL website, and I'm in FDT1 slash TBSS. So these five, there used to be six, I kind of screwed up and erased one of them, and instead of just re-downloading it, uh, I'm just going to kind of push forward. But we actually do have all six in these other uh, pre-cooked directories, which have already been analyzed the pre-computed registration and the stats. So, just for the first step, it's not going to be exactly the same, but everything else after that will be fine. Uh, just a little caveat, yeah, I'm kind of lazy, didn't want to re-download it. But anyway, so imagine that these are all of the subjects in your study. These, all these .nai.gz files are the FA maps that have been processed like we just did in the previous couple of videos, and now they're all in a single directory we're going to use these different TBSS tools which fortunately enough are labeled in order to do all the pre-processing before we analyze it with the general linear model. So the first command, I said all these are prefixed by TBSS, is TBSS underscore one underscore preproc. And all you need to do is give it all of the different FA files you have in your directory. You can either specify them individually or just grab them all with a wildcard like I've done right here. And while that's going, I would just like to show you where all this stuff is in the FSL directory binaries subdirectory. So all these commands with this TBSS, those are pretty much all that's going to be called upon after we have our FA images and we're trying to prepare it for entry into the GLM. So the ones that I'm going to be using here are 1, 2, 3, and 4. Again, we run these sequentially. It's very helpfully labeled. Preproc is going to do some more erosion of the mask to get rid of any artifacts at the edge of those FA, FA maps, and registration post-registration, just like in traditional fMRI analysis. You're going to estimate some warping parameters to a standardized space, and then apply it with this post write command. And lastly, pre-stats is going to project all this pre-aligned FA data onto this track skeleton, which we'll see in just a second. So that's for your own edification. You can also open these things up on your own if you want, which can also be useful. So if you want to see what happens in step four, you can just open that up with your favorite editor. Here I've used the VI editor. And you can see what it does, uh, assuming that you know the bash shell and some basic Unix. Awesome. OK. So the first preprocessing step is finished, and it recommends using slices dir, whatever's in there, to view what's just happened. And this is an important step in any step of neuroimaging analysis. After you do something, pretty much every time, I'm just going to lay this down as a rule. I don't always follow it, but it's a good thing to just keep in mind and to feel guilty about when you don't do it, is to look at your data after each step. Okay, so that's what we are going to do. Let's go into this. Uh, so it's generated an FA directory, which now contains all of our uh, pre-processed FA images for that first step, and also slices DIR right over here. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Let's open it up with Firefox, for example. And I think it's called index.html. So quickly open that up, and we get a good sense that it doesn't look like anything has gone horribly wrong. It seems like the erosion has been totally appropriate, and we're good to go on to the next step. You could also load these in the FSL view if you wanted to take a more detailed analysis. But just for a quick run through, that is perfectly acceptable to my eyes. Okay, so now you would run the rest of these TBSS commands from this directory. So one directory above where all that data has now been shoveled into this FA directory. So for example, TBSS underscore two underscore reg, we would run from this directory. And notice you can take a quick look at the help. 
it has just a few options you can select from. And most of the time, just use the recommended. So for example, I would just give this a dash T, capital T flag, to use this template that they've created right here. Okay. So if I were to run that, I would just do this, hit enter, and off it would go. However, that takes a long time, and it's already been pre-computed, so we're just going to copy everything in this pre-computed registration folder and put it over into that FA folder. So just as if we had just run that step right now.